This is the Joint Jack Chronicles, and we're going to discuss surgery for the CMC joint. As we've discussed elsewhere, there, there are two philosophies. One is interposition. The other is suspension of the metacarpal. We uh, feel strongly that the interposition techniques, whether they be metal, plastics, or a rolled up piece of tendon, are nowhere near as advantageous to the use and function of the thumb as is a suspension operation. So we're not going to talk about any of the interposition procedures. As this lateral displacement occurs, as the thumb metacarpal drifts off the trapezium, the body tries to solve its problem of instability by building an osteophyte. And one of the largest osteophytes for the size of the joint in the body occurs right here at the base of the thumb. This ends up with the metacarpal looking like the toe of a boot. The heel is back here. And this osteophyte, which wasn't there when the patient was born, if you will, is the entire support on the trapezium. And this, of course, has no cartilage. It's a destroyed joint. It's painful. And it serves as the, one of the main components that we have to address if we're going to treat this. And no matter what operation you do, whether it's an interposition or a suspension, the toe of the boot must come off. If you don't remove the toe of the boot, you've got a failed operation. As with most surgeries, it comes down to one isolated component. And if it's done, you've got success. If it's not done, it's failure. And the removal of the toe of the boot is the failure success key to CMC surgery, no matter how you do it. The suspension operation means we have to hold this thumb metacarpal distally as far as we can hold it. And if we look at the metacarpal, the trapezium has been removed. The scaphoid is down here, and we're not worrying about interposition. A hole is drilled through the metacarpal, as it is with most of the procedures. Here's the index metacarpal. And the index metacarpal has the insertion of the flexor carpi radialis. And we're going to take only half of the flexor carpi radialis and use the half. If we had our choices, we would like the support of this thumb to be on the outer cortex. If you have the support, if you run most of the procedures, run the tendon through the metacarpal, and this becomes the pivot point here on the shaft. And that has a couple of problems. One, all of the metacarpal that sits below that drill hole acts to block the base of the metacarpal coming in and abduction of the metacarpal when you load it. All of it is hinged or pivoted here. So it's going to drop down, and you end up with the metacarpal nowhere near as far up is as if we could suspend it from this outer cortical point. If we could suspend this metacarpal distally from this outer cortex, we can jack it up in terms of the index metacarpal. And number two, when that thumb metacarpal gets loaded, this is the pivot point. The metacarpal swings out. Using that as a pivot point, the rest of the metacarpal doesn't get in the way of an abduction maneuver of the metacarpal. So what we do is to bring our half, the flexor carpi radialis, around the base of the metacarpal, bring it up, and put it through the hole backwards, if you will, for all of the other techniques. We run the, the tendon through and put a little groove in the corner to hold it there. And this becomes our suspension point. And that will let us pull the metacarpal higher, because we can tighten this, our half of the tendon from the index, moving the, moving the thumb metacarpal distally. And we create our pivot point right where we need it on that outer cortex. We bring the tendon around, and once we brought it through the hole, wrap it around the standing part of the remaining tendon. That secures it and allows us to turn these people loose, allowing full activity two and a half weeks after surgery. So two days in a dressing. At the end of the two days, the patient is allowed to have their fingers back. They can run a computer, drive a car, hold a glass. They get a splint from the forearm to the thumb tip to hold it in place, and it only has to be on there for two weeks, two weeks because the metacarpal hold is so secure with the tendon wrap around itself that our pivot point is secure out on the outer cortex. And that's the essential parts of the procedure of an adequately done suspension procedure for CMC DJD.